Hello, Internet. Uh, we got a 5090 in here. This one is from Zotac. Uh, I'm a bit worried about this particular one because the customer sent this to me. He said he got scammed. And I asked him to open it uh, to see, at the very least, if the core and the memory are still on the board. Because I'm beginning to think that China is going to be removing cores from these cars uh, for the sake of building some kind of monstrosities that are uh, AI, uh, you know, useful, whatever. And so he couldn't uh, get it opened, and instead he ended up stripping the screws. The screw here is um, butchered. So, I don't know. So here we are with the card. Um, trying to get this thing open. See, see if the core and the memory are still there at the very least. I think he paid like two grand for this. The deal was very good, and a lot of you people out there uh, who are who have too many, too much money to burn, you go after these cheap uh, top of the line graphics cards, and you just get scammed. You know, why? Why you guys do that? There, There is no... Um, nothing's free. You know, there's no such thing as cheap 4090. Cheap 5090. Are you kidding me? What, what world are you living in, you know? What planet are you from? Okay, so the, the worst one is this one here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what we're dealing with. Yeah, this guy is anything but a screwdriver, but a screw. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to try um, something. I'm gonna have to try a few screwdrivers here. All these German screwdrivers. See if any of them are any good. I'm not too particularly happy with them with these. I mean, I use them; they're they're comfortable and whatnot. But you can kind of see here that the uh, coating starts to peel off. See right there, all that. Yeah, why is it peeling off? I have no idea. Probably Germans aren't as good as they used to be, so I don't know. Who cares? So let's see if I can. Okay, so this one's a little bit too flimsy. I need something in here. I could probably uh, drill this thing out. So, and I do not want to be pushing too hard. Yeah, it's not. It's not going anywhere. Um, let's see if maybe this one will work. No, this one's going right through. So I gotta get something in there. I don't know what. A smaller flathead screwdriver could. Possibly do the trick if he didn't screw it up this far. And uh, see if I can get away with this one. Nope, it's not doing it. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see if we can get these off, and then kind of twist the whole thing together see if that helps see if that works okay so okay so this thing is loose so we can probably grab it with something let me see if I can grab it with some uh, needle nose pliers or something and that's not gonna nope I can't do that uh, can I grab them with side cutters I mean, why would I want to? No idea. That's pretty stupid. Okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, what else can I try to grab these with? There's a little bit of clearance there, not a whole lot. Um, let's see if I can do this. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, nothing really seems to work. I just want to see if the core and the memory is there. Whoops. That doesn't, that doesn't help. 
that just slides right out. Uh, let's see if, um, kind of wonder what I can possibly do here. I wonder if I can uh, use my diamond cutters here and just kind of drill out the, uh, the shape of the, the hole to make it uh, what I need. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So let's switch, switch over to this guy here. How does that work? No idea. Huh. I don't even know how I got this bit. On this. I don't know. So I'm going to use this one instead. Let's see if I can. Swap the, swap the bit real quick. See if I can get this thing out. Okay, so that will come out. And uh, I'm going to use this um, tip here. And let's go ahead and start drilling. See if we can at the very least get this thing open. So obviously I'm going to um, be lubricating it. So that it's easier. Some alcohol will probably do. And we're just going to draw. We're just going to draw ourselves an X, you know, like this. See if that works. I mean, we're making progress. It's very slow, but I think the progress is made. I start seeing a little bit of shaving, so that's good. So if we just make enough. We should be able to just twist that thing off. I'm gonna start telling people not to take their card apart because clearly they can't do it properly so we've got a wire that's ripped uh, probably LED or something so let's get rid of that and I think we can split this thing and it comes and splits out splits out very easy like almost effortless so I am suspecting that there's gonna be no core There we go. So um, you can already see, hopefully. There we go. Come on. Why are you being annoying? There we have it. The uh, new type of scam has uh, finally been born. We have uh, no core, no memory 5090s that are going to hit the market. Uh, don't, I don't know at what scale. Mm, probably as massive as uh, 4090s did. So uh, thank you for watching. You've been warned. So a lot of that is thanks to China. Uh, we knew we can always count on you when it comes to spare donor boards uh, on the bright side if the board is as messed up as let's say this PNY here that I just fixed I had a massive crack yeah, as you can see that um, massive crack I had to run the wires across I, I got the crack fixed but still had to run the wires uh, barely managed to get it saved uh, but the good news is that we're going to have donor boards for 5090s that are going to be available. Um, obviously, they're going to cost a little bit, uh, but not too much. I mean, 4090s right now, you can get them for almost 50 bucks. But these ones will probably go at least triple that, if not quadruple. So we'll see. In any case, I hope you learned something today. 
Uh, and if you haven't, then uh, I don't know. Nobody can help you. <laughs> Goodbye.